Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Joe Boer. I'm with TransWest Trailers. Um, we're here today at our headquarters in Brighton, Colorado, and I wanted to do a quick walk around on an equipment trailer that we have in. Uh, this one's pre-sold, but uh, I have it for a few days and I was gonna just do a quick walk around. It's a TK80HT. So it's a TK 80,000 pound capacity and it's a hydraulic tail, meaning that tail comes up on the back end. Uh, it's for loading different pieces of equipment, super popular with uh, rental companies. Sorry, they're to fly on me. Um, rental companies use it for all kinds of different pieces. You can load most, multiple pieces on the main deck. There's a ramp in the middle of the deck so you can actually load things up to the front also. Um, you wanna to come to the front here. I'll just start the walk around on the front. We have so many different types of trailers and so many different hydraulic fittings that obviously if somebody sees the mess behind me, they're going to be making fun of us in the comments, but we know that's not exactly how you should set it up. You should have it as clean as possible with one or two hydraulic fittings to the front of the trailer. Um, this trailer has, has to be ran on a PTO, um, so you can't, there's no pony motor or anything like that that's going to run it. You have to have it hooked up to a truck. So on the front, you have your hydraulic fittings, your air hose, and your electric fittings. Um, that's basically the, on the front right there. If we come to the side, um, on each side there is a tool, uh, toolbox. You can put different chains and bindings inside there. There's also one on the other side. Um, when you are looking at the top of the deck here, man, that fly is messing with me. We have a 20,000 pound winch. Uh, that winch has a winch guard over it to protect it from uh, rolling pieces of equipment up there. You don't run over the winch. Uh, the top deck here is nine foot long. And once you get over here, this whole deck will raise up and you can pull, pop these dog ears out. And after it raises up, it sits down on there and then you can have access to that upper deck. Um, pretty clean right there. Uh, if you come to the side here, this is where all the controls are for the trailer. And Trail King has done a really nice job of making these a lot easier to use. Uh, you have your uh, suspension ride heights right here, push pull. Uh, you lower lowers it or raises it, um, and you have to do a couple of these things. And I'll walk you through the process when we actually use the trailer on how to raise the tail, lower it, uh, so you can load it or unload it. Um, right here we have the winch control, the hydraulic ramp control for raising and lowering that ramp right there. And then your main tail, the whole thing raises and lowers with this one. And this is your fold under. So there's a section down there that has to flip out and then come down to the ground. That's what that one control does. Uh, obviously this is to do your landing gear right here. And then this remote control uh, receiver is for only the winch. Uh, you can buy a remote control that can control all of the features on the trailer. We choose to bring in the remote control just to operate the winch on it. So, um, all right, so moving forward on the side here, we have some stake pockets and you have chain ties on the side. Uh, the decking is going to come with Apatong, uh, very durable surface back there. At the rear, we have traction, traction control. So when you're bringing up pieces of equipment, you have a little bit more traction instead of the wood. It can sometimes get a little slippery uh, when it's wet. Um, on this trailer, when we bring them in on 17.5 size tires and wheels, that gives you a load degree of 12 degrees on the TK80HT. If you go in with a little taller wheels, it's obviously gonna be a little higher degree, and I think it goes up to 14 on 22.5s. Your loaded deck height is 35 inches, almost 36 inches uh, when, it's, when the airbags are raised on there. So 36 inches from the ground to the top of the deck on the trailer. <laughs> When you come back to the tail here, this is where the traction aid is. Uh, and when we raise and lower the tail, you'll see the mechanics of how it works underneath. But basically this whole thing lifts up 
and then this tail comes out and the whole thing sets down. Um, and like I said, you get 12 and a half degrees of load angle. Uh, on the back here, you have your strobe light function to control your strobe lights. Uh, obviously, if you're loading, going down uh, oversized loads or whatever, or if you're loading or unloading on the side of a road, those should be on just for safety reasons. Come back here. The other side of the trailer is basically the same as what we just did. Uh, there are, we bring them in with the flag holders right here, just the safety feature right there. As you come up to the side here, it's kind of nice because Trail King makes it so you can load or unload from either side of the trailer. These are the same functions that are over there uh, so that you don't always, if you're loading on the side of a road, you don't have to be in harm's way. You can be on the safety side of the trailer. Um, there's also a work light function right here. The switches on the other side. So when you get out of the cab, if you were gonna operate the switches over here, you would hit that light. Both of them would come on. Um, and like I said, there's still another toolbox over here for storage, things that you want to keep locked up. So now I'd like to go through the functionality of the trailer and show you how to operate it with all the different controls on this side. Uh, first thing you need to do, your truck's on, your PTO's engaged, everything's on, your airs to the trailer. You're going to lower the suspension of the trailer and you do that with pushing this one and then pulling this. So the air is going to go all the way down in the airbags and the suspension. Uh, after that is done, if you're doing this at night, you would have the, the light on right there. And Trail King does a pretty good job of giving all of the directions on how to operate the trailer right there. And there used to be more controls, so they've made it a little bit simpler on how to do that. Um, so your, your suspension's all the way lowered now. The first thing you need to do is lift up the, the main tail. And there's a thing on here that says main tail. So we're gonna push that so it raises up in the air. And you want it to come up so there's enough room for that bottom tail to uh, flip under. The next thing you need to do, that bottom tail has a lock on it and you need to unlock it. Here's the lock and unlock button. So you're just going to hit the unlock button and you can hear it popping back there so the lock came up. So now that bottom tail can flip under um, and this is the fold under tail. And so we're just going to push this and you can see it folding out there. once that stops, you can lower the whole thing to the ground so that uh, you can load your equipment on there or unload it. And that's going to be with this right here. You're going to pull the main tail down to the ground. And I like to do it so it just gets to the ground and it lifts the, you can see it lifting the trailer up. You don't want to lift it up all the way though, just so it just gets to the ground, has a little bit of pressure on it there. Now you're able to load your equipment onto the trailer. And if you were going to load some smaller pieces and you needed to load it to the upper deck, you would go to the, uh, the fourth control right here. This is for the hydraulic ramp right here. And you just push that, it comes up. And after it gets past the dog ears, push this down. Oops. Pop them out right there. You can see how they popped out. And then you're going to lower the whole thing. Now you can load pieces of equipment from the very, from the ground, come over the rear tail up to the main deck, up to this ramp, and up to the upper deck if you needed to. <clears throat> um, super simple operation in that regard. The winch up there, there is a remote control for it, so you can operate that from a piece of equipment if you were loading it. 
Um, after you got to this point, you could pull the winch out, hook it up to the piece of uh, equipment that maybe isn't starting or is not running, and you could pull it up on there. So, um, so that's the whole functionality of the trailer. Uh, if you want to, I'll have my cameraman go back to the tail end there, and I'll walk you through what we just did, kind of the uh, reverse way, I guess. And you can see how all the functionality works on that tra on the tail. First thing I'm going to do is lower the hydraulic ramp. And then raise the whole main tail there. You can see that uh, the whole thing's coming up in the air. After it gets high enough, I'll do the fold under tail part. And after that folds all the way under, it gets to that point. Then you would hit the lock button and if you watch it, it'll lock itself in place. and then I would hold the main tail back down. <clears throat> and then you are ready to, after you've chained your equipment down, you're ready to uh, be in transport mode. So now that we've used the trailer, you've seen how it goes up and down, um, see all the controls on the trailer. I want to talk about how the HT falls in line uh, with the other products that Trail King makes. The HT just has the tail that folds up and down, and that gives you a 12 to 14 degree load angle, depending on tire size. The next trailer that they have in their equipment loading trailers is going to be the hydraulic sliding tail. And you can get that in a two axle or a three axle and it has very similar function on how the tail works, but your axles slide forward to give you a lower degree of load angle, uh, and that's gonna get you around 10 degrees. Uh, and then the third trailer, it's basically a drop deck with one deck up here, and the deck is all the way one deck the rest of the way. The two axles or three axles, depending on how you have it set up, will slide all the way forward and that will give you your lowest degree of load angle. That's around six degrees. So you have your HT, which is the one we just did the walk around on, an HST, hydraulic sliding tail, and then you have a sliding axle. So those are the three different trailers. We typically will have one, if not all of them, in stock at Trans West. So give me a call if you have any questions on any of the three of them. Uh, we can get you into the right product. Um, my name is Joe Boer. I can be reached at 720-257-1126 or my email, which is joe.bouger at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in.